Hi, Jim Durbin again. Uh, it's Friday, which for some reason is always uh, gets me to write things that get me all angry. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't certainly mean to put stuff out on a Friday that tends to poke the bear, but if you go check the social media headhunter blog, I just finished a post where I uh, made fun of Peter Shankman and then asked Dan Schauble if he was going to go the same way. Uh, basically, it's a um, it's a thought of mine. It, it, I think we should start calling people, instead of social media experts, uh, social media pundits. And the question is, do they really know what they're talking about? I think, uh, and, the, and the post discusses this, I think that you can determine whether or not someone knows what they're talking about by their reactions. If um, Look, social media is tough. We all make mistakes. We go very fast. Information changes. It's, it's difficult to sit down in a short period of time and write an intelligent post. Knowing this, it's okay to be wrong. And I think way too many of the, the pe people who are calling themselves experts, um, more important, the ones who are mocking those who call themselves experts, which is pretty bad. Um, the problem that they have is that they have no clothes. They're actually the same frauds that they call as all the rest of us. You know, oh, we're all frauds or we're clowns and you're the smart ones. If you feel the need to denigrate everybody else in your industry, especially when you have a big platform, I think it's because you're afraid that other people will know who you are. It's very much like uh, I talked about in my Mean Girls post where I said, if you're punching down and mocking someone who is not um, a threat to you, you're usually doing it to try to get authenticity. You're saying, well, I, I'm not bad like these guys. It's, I mean, it's a tough thing because the problem is, is if you do it too much, then you become the blogger or the social media guy trying to make his bones um, by uh, picking fights which is an old and honored tradition in the internet. You pick on a big wig, and if they respond, you get lots of traffic and your name goes up. I don't need that. I've been around long enough where I don't need to make my bones for anyone in the industry. But at the same time, you know, just because someone's wrong on the internet doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that you gotta correct them. So, you know, I guess it's a matter of uh, trying to stay, general social media rule, your job is to try to be far more positive than you are negative. You know, say 10 or 20 or 100 positive things for every negative thing. And always, always, always try to drive the conversation forward. Um, avoid personal attacks to people who don't deserve them, which means anyone who's not being an actual jerk online, you probably should give a little bit of the benefit of the doubt to. And also be aware that your timelines may not be theirs. Um, if someone hasn't responded, it's because it could be they're not online. Are they doing something important to them? Are they actually working and not necessarily just chatting online? At the same time, if they're out there doing other stuff, if they're leaving snide comments or mocking people, it's clear that they simply don't want to engage. So it's just a little bit of a, a Friday, Friday afternoon advice. Um, if you're gonna determine what someone knows, don't fall for the first pitch, because anybody can give a good presentation. Instead, try to figure out what they do when they do something wrong. It really is kind of the sign of character for anything that you do. Um, there's a big difference between being the guy or the girl who um, can do a presentation that you wrote. There's another one in, t in terms of how you defend it. And, um, well, my mind's a little drifted because I have to run out for my wife's birthday, so I have to go pick up the flowers and the, uh, the gifts. So uh, I'll cut off from there, but uh, I will be back next week. I have a bunch of good, positive business branding stuff I want to talk about. Um, I'm going to start taking some of the results and some of the comments people have been sending me. Don't forget to leave them down there So uh, if you have questions yourself. And uh, hopefully we're going to make this uh, video blogging thing a reality. Thank you and have a good one.